Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today with another car review of the, uh, well, the baton in Mad Out 2. And, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so starting off, the baton is based off the, um, the UAZ 451, I believe, off the top of my head. I believe that's it. Yeah, it'll, there'll be text at the bottom if I said it wrong. But anyway, let's just hop in. Let's take a look at the performance. Just so you guys know, this is a van. And, um, well, the acceleration we've uh, determined is quite slow. Top speed. Quite slow as well. How about the turning? Let's see if it actually turns. Let's hope it doesn't tip. And yeah, this thing, this thing does have not bad of a handling line, but that's because it's slow. Can it slide? It can't slide at all. Yeah, unless we V8 swap it, which we might. Let's just get a look at it while it's in motion. I'm nothing too interested. All right, let's park up here and let's take a look at the interior. All right, um... Just as basic as the car, to be honest. No door, nothing on the door panels. Uh, we've got a basic interior, manual transmission, some radio and stuff. Um, and we've got a cage in the back. Uh, yep, no seats. I'll take a look for you guys. Look, so there you go. There you go. I'll get a better view for all of you soon, in a minute. I'll just get a better view of that. All right, and as I was talking about the doors, just absolutely empty. Nothing. All right, let's get you guys a better view of all of the uh, the rear end of the vehicle. I believe the rear doors do come open. I'm just not sure how. All right, here you go. So basically the same interior as the Spinia. Yep, and uh, also I was taking a look at around the vehicle. And um, so I believe this uses the 1.7 liter engine, um, except looking at it from underneath. Okay, I fainted in the wrong direction. Basically, I couldn't really find an engine to show because there was no bonnet to pop open. There wasn't anything like that. I believe that should get us a better view of the bottom. Yeah, so there's a gearbox down there, and that's about all we see. Everything else is hidden. Alright, now for the shooting test. Um, let's start with the pistol. Results will be at the end. I'm not even going to bother saying them. I might get them wrong. Enjoy. All right, and uh, there, you, there your results are on screen. Next test. All right, now for the Uzi test. We're just going to go ahead and basically just... No, okay, that was necessarily quite less than normal vehicles, to be fair. Okay, this vehicle is absolute terrible at these tests, mate. It, it's worse than any other car I've tested. Alright, now here we are in front of the custom shop. Now we're going to take the vehicle in, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, what do you call it? Just modify the vehicle. Get it, uh... Yeah, well, we'll see what's up. Okay. So first things first, let's head over to the engines. And as I suspect, it's not the 1.7. It's a 1.6 liter engine with about 70 horsepower all-wheel drive. Now, now all right, time for the colors. Let's make the body color green. Yes, there you go. That's the full body of the car, every single piece. Yep, that's all of it right here. And the headlights have disappeared, but it's all right. Yep, that's all of it. Alright, the trunk, which I believe is the boot, yep. Well, the rear doors. Let's make those a... How about a... No, no, pink, maybe? Yeah, those work. And then the doors here. There's actually a side door as well. Yeah, in case you don't know. Yeah, so if I just make these a orange real quick. Or something, I don't know. Just pink. Pink's good. Now for the windows, red. Yep, that's the front window, windshield, windscreen, and then, yep, the lip, which is, again, 
That small little bit up there, which most people don't care about. Mid, which is actually the first and second windows. And then the back is literally everything else, which is going to make those blue. Yeah. So, that's, that's all the paint options for the windows. And then after this, you just get the normal plate. And that's about it. Now for the, uh, yeah. All right, no vinyls and uh, wheels. All right, this uses the 15 ambulance wheels and the 15 ambulance tires. Radius is 32, width is 27. X offset is zero, Y offset is zero, height is 14, stiffness is 11, and the Z angle is zero. Now, to be honest, I've made a tune crazy build of this car where I basically took it, uh, I installed a crazy tune on it to make it better something, and that video is right here on screen. You guys can go check it out. All right. All right, then. So, and nothing else in the extras, just no plates and that. Anyway, that's all we're going to do. We're not going to need these two upgrades because we're not getting anything. All right. All right, then. Time for the uh, the worth it portion of the video, I guess. Yeah. Oh, keep in mind, the, the headlights do disappear. All right. Is this vehicle worth it? Well, it is in the sense that, well, it might potentially be useful. Um, the issue with it, I the thing is, all right, let, let's let's put it this way: the vehicle is cheap, and that can I knock the rear doors open. I mean, just I might just knock the rear doors open and see if those actually work. Nope, the side door comes open though, but. Anyway, is this vehicle worth it? 35,000 coins is not a lot, to be fair. It's it's a good spending on this car. Honestly, just to have this lying around your garage and your collection is not too bad, to be fairly honest. So, would I recommend it? Well, first of all, the armor uh, the vehicle offers is absolute garbage. You won't be able to survive online in this thing. But um, besides that, I have to admit... Oh, the rear doors do come open. Okay. Besides that, um, I, I do have to admit, what, what do you call it? It, I'd say it, it's probably worth it. Why I'm saying probably worth it is because, well, the vehicle won't stand you a chance in online, although it is a potential vehicle that could be better. It definitely has its downsides for that, and for that reason, I'd say it's most likely worth it because it is very cheap res, res this moment. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next episode, uh, or a, there is no next episode. I'll see you on next car review or something. Maybe a Forza video next. All right, peace.